Si tratta di un'idea sorta nel 1989 al progettista slovacco Stefan Klein e che sarebbe rimasta tale o poco più se nel 2010 non si fosse stretta una collaborazione con il businessman connazionale Juraj Vakulik attraverso la quale in dieci mesi di lavoro è giunta alla luce nella sua versione 3.0. Concretizzazione del futuro, questa forse l'unica giusta definizione di aeromobile, esatto punto di mezzo tra una graffiante auto sportiva e un piccolo velivolo. Quanto tempo è necessario per la metamorfosi? Solo pochi istanti, così come per decollare sono necessari solo 100 metri. Prestazioni dell'attuale prototipo, già di tutto rispetto, 160 km di velocità massima su strada che salgono a 200 in volo. La società slovacca sorta per lo sviluppo del progetto ha unito figure di spicco del comparto dell'automotive mondiale ma anche della Formula 1 a testimonianza del rilievo e della serietà di progetto e investimenti. Uh, but we realize uh, for prototypes is uh, last but uh, uh, not last. Uh, it's a spree prototype and we would like continue to next prototype and uh, we would like finish in uh, final uh, production and mass production. Uh, this uh, Uh, aircraft is, uh, uh, we used uh, composite materials, uh, it means that uh, it's monocoque construction, sandwich construction and the uh, central part is from uh, chrome molybden tubes and it's pushed uh, by Rotax uh, engine that is uh, very shortly about, uh, about structure and uh, materials. We need to find a new transportation solutions because we are stuck, we are producing incredible amount of carbon, uh, I mean in, in, as a pollution and uh, it has two parts. One is sustainability of the product itself, but also the usage. And uh, we, uh, we see that, uh, and there's a lot of data, that for example, by the end of 2030, eight trillions of US dollars needs to be spent to build a missing infrastructure, which in other words, means that zillions of uh, concrete and tarmac will be put it on the ground, a lot of forest must be killed. And our story is that there is already one beautiful, sustainable infrastructure called the air, and we can utilize it, and we can keep then the land uh, and the forest to the people for their recreational needs, for their food needs and uh, we need to find a new way how to how to upgrade the personal transportation so really our really deep point is that uh, the next big thing in technologies that's uh, the personal transportation alla presentazione di Aeromobil tenutasi ad Expo ha partecipato anche il vice primo ministro e ministro delle finanze della Repubblica Slovacca Peter Casimir il quale ha tracciato i contorni dell'importanza dell'innovazione per il sistema produttivo e industriale del suo paese di cui Aeromobil è certamente un esempio ma che vede nella posizione di leadership della propria industria automobilistica un aspetto ormai più che consolidato sul panorama mondiale. Proud about it that we can just present such. I, this because at the, at the end of the day, you know, this is a, just a way how to materialize the dreams, you know. But but very practical dreams because it's, it could be a unique combination of automotive industry, innovation industry, and back to Slovakia, you know that okay. Despite that, that we are a small country, uh, or we have history from the past we are the member of the of the soviet bloc and we used to produce the weapons in the past the tanks and artillery but now we we restructured our economy and the number one in our economy is automotive industry and everything which is connected with uh, with automotive industry so so heavy engineer 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 and manufacturing and just Two weeks ago, I came back from Pittsburgh, from US Steel uh, headquarters, so I, I understand how it's difficult now, how difficult times are for metallurgy and for all this kind of industry in, in, in connection, in interconnection with, uh, uh, with um, uh, protection of the environment, with all these additional burdens, which are, uh, are unfortunately Bad on, on, on uh, for example, for on the steel mills. Talking about uh, uh, innovation and technologies, we do believe in that because this is the only way how to how to how to survive and to be successful. So this is the reason why also the, from the government, uh, from the level of the government, we try to support such uh, such kind of ideas. We try to create uh, the, the new ecosystem for the startups, not only in, in uh, computing, but also in, in what's natural for us. This is engineering, this is uh, production of cars.